Hey guys, how it going? This is the R Spark. We're back here in Life is Strange on episode two, part one. Um, I happened to get some pretty good feedback from playing the first episode, so I decided to go out and get the rest of the game. And I wanted to play the rest of the game with you guys, so let's get on. Let's continue with this journey and see uh, what everyone else thinks of it so far. Um, I'm sorry if the previous episode seemed a little weird, um, I was just learning how to play a game like this, I'm used to the MMO type deal, so it might have been a little weird, but hopefully I'll be talking more and chit chatting and playing the game a little better, hopefully, but I probably suck, so let's dig into it, shall we? Pretty sure we can continue, right? Previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called Wait, film oh, little time. pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For real, Warren, jerk. this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. What heck of a tornado still? Yeah, these choices that you make in this game are what really impact the game. It's really what surprises me out of these types of games. Um, I see them a lot in like Telltale games, these type of games, so it's always kind of interesting. Snooze. Uh, kill it with fire. I hate alarm clocks. That music that I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for. Ah, <laughs> oh, YouTube, don't ever change. Actually, do change. Please stop copywriting my ass for every song I put on. That's not copyrighted. Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time. out there that can't get out of bed in the morning no amount of rewind will keep me clean i still need a shower i am so not a rebel i always like my bed to be neat and tidy thanks mom yeah mom you're the best oh good god there's 10 pages just uh, pause and read it. I'm gonna s skip through it, kind of, and just skim it. Thank you. 
that otter. get up this early, but that could just be me. No offense to any potheads. How am I evil? I didn't do anything. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. No smiling. Take your power seriously. I can't keep my eyes open. But I know there's a scientific answer. I don't think there. I don't think you need an explanation. Just go with it. That's what I do with anything of mine. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. So I'm not the only one that keeps a plant in my room. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Do plants need electrolytes? How will it have consequences? It's just watering a plant. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Probably not, my friend. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh, yay. I like how I was able to access the phone from the journal, but the phone's right there. And the journal's right there, too. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. What kind of English teacher has depression? Most English teachers I know are happier than can be. Definitely a weird schedule. Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it, it's considered a good Ow! I feel weird. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Yeah, no problem. That's just what I do for a living is help people not get hit by freaking toilet paper. Even though that would be pretty funny to nail someone with a toilet paper. Roll. Hello, my friend. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? 
By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. You're welcome. I think. Freaking creepy shower. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. About? I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yeah, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. Rude. Like, awesome compared to your ass. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Memorizes a link and actually has one to a video. What the hell? Who does this? It's really, really weird. Jerks. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I love doing that to my family whenever they're in the shower. Just flush the toilet and no water and no hot water too. <laughs> That's great. I wonder if I could do it multiple times and just have someone throw something at my ass. Where do I go again? <laughs> I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. It's probably one of these douchebags that do it like Courtney or Victoria. What is that for? I said I said keep calm and something. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Who does that? Really? What a bunch of jerks. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. 
Oh well. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. That's interesting. Um, I'm saying there's probably a place for it in this world, but not here. Books, 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 books. I saw some books over here. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Then where is it? No book here. Where is this damn book? <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Soft drinks are amazing. Just drink a Pepsi Aha, a day you and sneaky keep book. the doctor away. You're mine. Did I get the book? I did get the book. Keep calm and carry on. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. True. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Yeah, till it kills you. What a rude. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or- Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Wow, this is a really neat room. Ooh, violin. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Huh, I wonder why. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. I didn't see anything. A bunny. Bunny. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um, did you party with did them? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Hmm. Huh. Should I ask where she went? Or just kind of carry on? It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? 
Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. It's not really enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. How sick were you? Sick enough to need a doctor. I thought I was dying, Max. So Nathan didn't take you to the ER? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And what? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate? We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Uh, I think you can get it terminated depending on the website or depending on how the domain works. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Uh, they don't really... They don't really have any proof. I mean, I don't think they can drug test because it's been so long, so... <sighs> Going to the police just might get you in more trouble just for being an annoyance at times. Um, and if you look for proof, you might get yourself hurt. Oh, which one do I want? I guess look for proof, considering that might if be... If you do that, thing. they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to help. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, because I have no idea what happened. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. I like it. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Interesting. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. 
I don't know what to believe now. Huh. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna leave now. Please let me leave. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm coming. Why can't I use emojis? Emojis are like amazing. I don't care enough to talk. That was a really big flock of birds. Paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. I don't think what animals do you see in the forest? Sure. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Squirrel! I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Uh, I can't say I haven't seen anyone creepier, but... At least he's nice. And friendly. Hi, Taylor. Hi, idea. Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me. Asshole. Douche of a bag. Rude. Max, come on over here. That's not creepy. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her?
Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Uh, I don't particularly care for old movies, but that's just me. But I do like the shirt. Um, I really want to say no, I'm very sorry. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. I'm sorry, I am busy. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has Everyone. something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Another song that I'm gonna get copyrighted for. <laughs> Yay! Don't you know that I'm looking around to guide you through your weakest moments to be the night? So this is kind of like a fishing. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm what? Gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk team. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be it for part one. Um. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, and if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until then, I will catch you on the next one. See y'all.